Good morning, everyone. Jeff Barak from the NASDAQ Market Intelligence Desk. Uh, the U.S. stock futures are pointing to a higher open. After two, today, uh, two days of consecutive declines of more than 1%, uh, earnings are still in focus, um, as well as some crude oil, weekly jobless claims. And there was some uh, Fed announcements out yesterday about a possible mid-year hike in interest rates. Uh, yesterday, the S&P actually had a pretty precipitous de decline into the uh, final hour of trading. Uh, it dropped more than 20, 20 points. Uh, price action is probably attributed to uh, things going on in crude oil and, as well as energy stocks. Uh, I mean, uh, crude oil has dropped to its lowest level since 2009. Today, we will be watching quarterly results from uh, Facebook, Qualcomm, uh, as well as uh, we have uh, some news out of McDonald's about a management change. The CEO has, uh, has been uh, relieved of his job duties and they're replacing him. So the stock is actually trading higher uh, in pre-market activity. Uh, at the uh, close today, Google will be reporting uh, their quarterly results. So that'll be something to focus on tomorrow. Uh, but right now, we're looking at Dow futures higher by about 50 points. s and is up about five. Uh, and NASDAQ 100, we're looking at about a 3% uh, or excuse me, three point uh, jump at the open. Some technical things to watch today. Uh, yesterday actually was uh, from a, a technical analysis what is considered a, a kind of an ugly day um, where momentum was to the downside. Stock, uh, stocks opened higher and uh, we, we saw it uh, trend into the closing really. You know, that precipitous decline during the final hour of trading uh, really doesn't set up for a, a, a ideal uh, bullish day from a technical uh, perspective. Uh, to the downside, we'll be watching. We'll be watching the S&P at uh, 1972 is going to be right around the support level. Um, but uh, hopefully, we don't see that level, and hopefully, um, we don't drop below two, uh, 2,000 on the S&P. Um, take care.